DIYs. I don't know about you, but I love doing DIYs. So today I'm gonna show you how to do a DIY cutting board for duct tape. Okay, so I don't know about you, but um, I um, can't find a cutting board. Now, I, I'm, I hope I don't feel really stupid, but where I live, they're um, hard to find unless you look in like more of a high-end store. And I've looked in my books, but they don't have them. Because I'm angry and I don't want and, and I don't want to order one online because I hate ordering stuff online because then it takes like forever to come. For me, I don't know. Blah, blah. So um I don't know if you're like that too. So if you're having trouble, watch this video and I'm gonna show you how to make some. Okay, so um I'm gonna show you three ways to do this in like 15 minutes around there and the first one is i'm going to tell you the supplies separately for each one the first one is using a whiteboard now this one um i think my second least favorite because you have to redo it every time unless you don't but it i like it though in a way but it kind of ruins it okay so this whiteboard i got at walmart for a five ninety five or ten dollars and it, it, the whiteboard can be any size, it just depends on how big you want it. Now, the, the, all the only spies you're going to need this is this, this, and this. Okay, so as I said, this is this a whiteboard, a ruler, and any um, dry erase marker. No, Sharpie. No. Yes, because then this will stay on forever, unless you want it to stay on forever, then you Sharpie. Okay, so I'm going to take an Expo marker I got at Walmart. Um, and you're just gonna take your ruler and put it along the border in inches. And basically, you're just gonna make a line on every inch. So this one makes um, like one half in one or nine inches, sorry. Blah. And then you can just do this on every side and it makes an awesome one so yeah so basically you just see all these lines and you can write like one two three four five six seven eight nine etc sorry my writing is not very complicated but anyways um so that is number one and you can do it all the way around and then put the duct tape on and measure and this one again is my least favorite because duct tape can um, wipe it off now if you're wondering about the squares I'll show you how to do those too okay so basically you're just gonna measure out one inch on your thing sorry I had trouble getting the lid off again so I have my one inch is here now you're gonna flip this the other way, and you're just gonna do the full line. Now, they just keep doing this along the whole thing, and then the other way. So I'll show you to do it the other way. So basically, you're just gonna find the one inch mark there, and you're gonna do the line across. And I know my lines are uneven, but this just shows the one inch Thing of it so basically this technique is just to measure not to hold on there but remember don't do the bottom one because that's where your number goes so do, 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 do whatever my number is i'm gonna write it that's just a scribbly line though so yeah um i hope you thought that was a good idea even though it's not really as fun but, um the next one i'm not gonna show you to do because i'm not allowed to use a cutting board but you use a cutting board and you just write it with sharpie and this one i'm actually gonna do Take an old duotang from school. So I know it's summer, so I'm sure you'll have many of them. And are you, if you are thinking, oh my God, mine has a pocket like this, is that okay? It doesn't matter at all. So I'm gonna use the back side, or the front side, I mean. Or yeah, the back side, because there's nothing on it. So you can basically full on duct tape this if you'd like, but I would recommend not to. So now I'm just gonna take my, handy dandy scissors and get any labels off 
or scribble them out. So, here's my label that I just took off. And now the next supplies you're gonna need are scissors. I have this these cute little Zebra printing things that I got at Winners or something like that. And I got this cool shirt. That is black. Okay, so basically, you're just gonna take this right here and you're gonna cut down the thing as straight as possible. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Sorry if my um, papers are falling out. So while you're doing that, I'm just gonna <laughs> do it too, I guess. Okay, after that is done, that's this is when your Sharpie comes in, if you're already done, if you're like, you can also, instead of using scissors, you can use one of those like paper cutters to make the line perfectly straight and make the line get cut faster. So, those usually, if you're a kid um, and you are wondering if your mom does scrapbooking, she should have one. If not, just ask if she has a straight line ruler paper cutter. And that's another thing you can use for duct tape. Um, so I do have one, but I prefer scissors because third is handy dandy that I'm allowed to keep in my room. Okay, so that's my do hang here, and this is this. So if you have a pocket, you can do two things with it. You can cut it off or just leave it, and for me, I'm just going to leave it. Now flip it around. Now, here we're gonna make our cubes. Now don't use this until it is dry, and let, until you let it dry for about an hour or so. Even more almost. Okay, so now the next step is you're gonna just find with your, um, sorry, so I'm this down. To the end here. Okay. So, you're gonna measure out, put your ruler on the side. Oh yeah, you're also gonna need a ruler. You're gonna put your ruler on the side and mark the one inch like that. And then you're gonna take your ruler across like this. Line it up even. And, whoopsie. Um, when you're doing this, if you want like a really good one, um, just tape it down. Okay, now after that's done, you're gonna make a one inch grid chart across this whole thing. Okay. Make sure it is one inch. Sorry I'm saying that so weird. I'm like, make sure it is one inch. Okay, um. Basically, you just keep doing that, and you're gonna make a full grid. And after it's done, you can put the numbers on the bottom grid all over it. And as you can see, I messed up there, so which is completely fine, okay? So I'm just gonna do a grid on the whole thing, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so when you are done, your thing should look like this. Now, another thing you can do is you can buy a like a clear one and then you can print something off that's like one inch one inch like one inch grid paper and then you can like tape it under or you can put it in a seat there's many things you can do for you don't have to draw them but now you're gonna pick one side and you're gonna draw numbers all over it so for example this is one this is two this is three this is four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, ten, eleven. So this, this is eleven. And as you can see, I smeared it and looked my hand. And so be careful not to do that as for every time I use Sharpie, I do that. But Sharpie is the only marker I find that will stay on with the duct tape. So, you, you know, you just gotta be careful. And I did that on purpose 
sort of half on purpose because I wanted to do it on purpose on one side to show you what will happen. So now we're going to do the next side. Now the next side goes from the one, then you go up two, and then three, and then four like that, and then five like that, and six like that, and seven like that, and eight like that, and nine. Now the next side will go nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're thinking, oh my god, it's too small. No worries, just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the corner here you can put an eleven for you know that that means eleven on the side. Now here, you're thinking there's an eleven here. Oh my god, what do I do? You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you just write a little nine there for its subset. Okay, so this is your chart. Now it's very confusing, so sorry to make it so confusing, but this is how I do it, and I'll show you it works in a sec. I've let this dry for five minutes, and I remember I said about an hour for it to completely dry. So um, what I did is I blew on it like this. You can hear it. Couple of times, and you can take your finger and, and you can see. You'll see it. So now I'm just gonna take this piece of duct tape I used on my ruler to make it stay. So I'm like, I went like this for example, and then I taped it down like that. And I didn't do like a super like push like that. I just did like a, you know, just lay it down. So I'm just gonna show you a quick little um, thing here on why you don't do it right away. Okay, so I'm pushing down here like this. This is how your duct tape is gonna be. Now I pull it off, and you can see it's coming off there. So wait about half an hour to an hour before for it doesn't come off as much. And if it's still coming off, um, just touch it up every now and then. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on DIY cutting mats. And this mat does not work with an exacto knife. It will rip through. So for example, um, I'll use my scissors here to show you that if you take your scissors and go like that, well, it's gonna be a mark. Unless you take another layer on the back. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Another thing you could do is just tape, um, buy, buy a couple, buy four rulers and tape them. Or you can just do a grid mat and then lay a ruler on whatever side you need. Anyways, yeah, this is the DIY cutting mat, so sorry to make it so confusing with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Sorry to make it so confusing like that, but um, it looks very confusing. But after you start using it, it's really easy. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye! Um, and please also, please like this video and subscribe to me if you enjoyed this video, because I'll be putting a duct tape video up as soon as I can when I have time, and sorry I haven't been posting in a while, I've been really busy with summer and I went on vacation, so yeah.